Module 8. Modern Art. Modern art in the United States during this period was characterized by a diverse range of artistic styles and movements. The early 20th century saw the emergence of various avant-garde movements such as Abstract Expressionism, Cubism, Dadaism, and Surrealism. Artists in the United States were influenced by European modernist ideas, but they also developed their own unique approaches. The Ashcan School, for example, focused on depicting urban life and social realities. The Armory Show of 1913 introduced European modernism to American audiences and had a significant impact on the development of modern art in the country. Artists like Georgia O'Keeffe, Marsden Hartley, and Jackson Pollock emerged during this period and contributed to the rich and diverse artistic landscape of modern art in the United States. The Futurist Movement, led by Filippo Tommaso Marinetti, emerged in Italy in the early 20th century. The Futurists embraced the advancements of modern technology and aimed to capture the dynamic and fast-paced nature of modern life. They were inspired by the industrial age, speed, and the possibilities of the future. Their works often depicted movement, energy, and fragmentation, using bold colors and abstract forms. The futurists rejected traditional art forms and sought to break away from the past, advocating for a new aesthetic that celebrated the modern age. They were influenced by Cubism, the principles of Italian divisionism, and the dynamism of the machine age. The goals of the futurists were to revolutionize art and society, rejecting traditional values and embracing the possibilities of a rapidly changing world. Artists after World War I took Cubism in new directions by exploring its principles in different contexts. Some artists, such as Juan Gris, continued to develop Cubist aesthetics but introduced more recognizable subject matter. Others, like Fernand Leger, incorporated elements of Cubism into their exploration of the machine age and urban life. Additionally, the influence of Cubism can be seen in the development of abstract art movements such as Orpheism and Purism. Constructivism, De Still, Bauhaus, and international style architecture were all socially oriented movements that sought to integrate art, design, and architecture into the fabric of society. Constructivism, originating in Russia, emphasized the use of industrial materials and embraced the social and political aims of the Russian Revolution. De Still, a Dutch movement, aimed for a universal visual language based on geometric forms and primary colors. The Bauhaus in Germany focused on the integration of art, craft, and technology and aimed to create functional and aesthetically pleasing designs for mass production. International style architecture, influenced by Bauhaus principles, emphasized simplicity, functionality, and the use of modern materials. Art was used as a means of political expression in the 1930s, particularly in response to the rise of fascism and social unrest. Artists such as the Mexican muralists Diego Rivera and David Alfaro Siqueiros created public murals that depicted social and political themes. Artists associated with the American regionalism movement, such as Thomas Hart Benton, addressed social issues and rural American life in their works. Additionally, artists like George Gross and John Hartfield in Germany employed satirical and politically charged imagery to critique the political climate. Latin American modernism was characterized by a diverse range of artistic styles and concerns. It embraced elements of European modernism but also incorporated indigenous and folk art traditions. Artists like Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera explored themes of identity, history, and social justice. The Surrealist movement had a significant influence on Latin American artists, leading to the development of magical realism. Latin American modernism also highlighted cultural and political issues specific to the region, including post-colonialism and the struggles of indigenous populations. American regionalism, also known as American scene painting, emerged during the Great Depression and aimed to depict the everyday lives of ordinary Americans and their connection to specific regions. Artists such as Grant Wood and Thomas Hart Benton celebrated rural and small-town America, often with a nostalgic and romanticized view. Regionalist artists sought to capture a sense of national identity and to counter the influence of European modernism by focusing on distinctly American subjects and landscapes.
African American artists had distinctive concerns related to race, identity, and representation. During the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s and 1930s, artists such as Aaron Douglas and Jacob Lawrence depicted African American experiences and culture, challenging racial stereotypes and asserting a positive African American identity. Later, during the civil rights movement in the 1960s, artists like Romari Bearden and Faith Ringgold used their art to advocate for equality and justice. Organic abstract art, characterized by fluid and biomorphic forms, can be seen as an anti-fascist statement due to its rejection of the strict geometry and rigid ideologies associated with fascist aesthetics. By embracing organic shapes and emphasizing individual expression and freedom, organic abstract artists challenge the oppressive and regimented ideals of fascist regimes. Artists like Jean Arp and Joan Miro explored organic abstraction to celebrate the spontaneity and vitality of life, contrasting the authoritarianism and conformity of fascist ideologies. The New York School refers to a group of artists based in New York City in the mid-20th century who played a significant role in shaping American art. Within the New York School, two prominent movements were abstract expressionism and color field painting. Abstract expressionism, also known as the action painting, emphasized spontaneous and gestural brushwork to convey emotions and express the artist's inner world. Artists like Jackson Pollock, Willem de Kooning, and Mark Rothko were notable figures of this movement. Their works often featured large-scale canvases filled with energetic brushstrokes and abstract forms, creating a sense of dynamism and emotional intensity. Color field painting, on the other hand, focused on the exploration of color and flat, expansive areas of color on the canvas. Artists such as Mark Rothko, Barnett Newman, and Helen Frankenthaler were key figures in this movement. Their works featured large, unbroken fields of color, often devoid of recognizable subject matter, aiming to evoke emotional and spiritual responses through the power of color and form. International style architecture evolved in the post-war years as a movement that embraced modernist principles of simplicity, functionality, and the use of new materials such as glass and steel. It sought to create clean, minimalist designs with an emphasis on open spaces and geometric forms. Architects such as Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, Walter Gropius, and Le Corbusier were influential in shaping the international style. Buildings characterized by flat surfaces, smooth lines, and a lack of ornamentation became iconic examples of this architectural style. Assemblage artists were influenced by the Dada movement and surrealism, incorporating found objects and materials into their artworks. Artists like Robert Rauschenberg and Louise Nevelson created three-dimensional compositions by assembling various objects and fragments into unified artworks. Their works explored themes of consumerism, the passage of time, and the reinterpretation of everyday objects. Happenings were artistic events that aimed to blur the boundaries between art and life. They involved spontaneous performances, often in non-traditional spaces, where audience participation was encouraged. Artists like Alan Caprow organized happenings to challenge traditional notions of art, emphasizing the experience and the ephemeral nature of the event itself. Pop art emerged in the 1950s and 1960s as a reaction against abstract expressionism. It drew inspiration from popular culture and mass media, incorporating images of consumer products, celebrities, and everyday objects into artworks. Artists such as Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, and Claes Oldenburg used bright colors, bold lines, and repetition to create visually impactful works that commented on consumerism, media saturation, and the commodification of art. Minimalism sought to reduce art to its essential elements by employing geometric forms, clean lines, and a focus on industrial materials. Artists like Donald Judd, Dan Flavin, and Agnes Martin created works characterized by simplicity, repetition, and a sense of order. Minimalist art aimed to create a direct and immediate experience for the viewer, stripping away unnecessary ornamentation and emphasizing the purity of form. Conceptual art emphasizes the idea or concept behind the artwork, prioritizing the intellectual aspect over the physical object. 
Artists like Sol Lewitt, Joseph Kosuth, and Yoko Ono challenge traditional notions of art by focusing on the concept, instructions, or documentation rather than the material outcome. Conceptual art questioned the traditional emphasis on aesthetics and craftsmanship, emphasizing the importance of the artist's idea and the viewer's engagement with the concept. Site-specific works and earthworks are art forms that are created to interact with a specific location or environment. Site-specific art considers the physical, cultural, and historical context of a particular site and creates artworks that are integrated into or respond to that. Postmodern and recent architecture is characterized by a rejection of modernist principles and a focus on eclecticism, fragmentation, and historical references. Architects like Robert Venturi and Frank Gehry embraced diversity of styles and playfully incorporated elements from different architectural traditions into their designs. Postmodern architecture often features bold and whimsical forms, decorative details, and a sense of irony or self-awareness. In painting, the 1980s witnessed a diversification of styles and approaches. Neo-expressionism, characterized by gestural brushwork and emotive subject matter, gained popularity through artists like Julian Schnabel and Jean-Michel Basquiat. The 1980s also saw the emergence of the pictures generation, who appropriated and recontextualized images from mass media. Additionally, the rise of street art and graffiti, with artists such as Keith Haring and Jean-Michel Basquiat, brought a fresh and urban aesthetic to the art scene. The influence of postmodernism on contemporary photography can be seen in its self-reflexivity and questioning of the medium's conventions. Artists like Cindy Sherman and Jeff Wall use photography to construct narratives and explore themes of identity, gender, and the nature of representation. They challenge the notion of photography as a purely documentary or objective medium and instead engage with the constructed nature of images. Contemporary sculpture utilizes a wide range of materials and techniques, reflecting the artist's conceptual intent. Sculptors like Damien Hirst and Ai Weiwei employ unconventional materials, including found objects, industrial materials, and even organic matter. The functions of contemporary sculpture have also expanded beyond traditional notions of monumentality, with site-specific installations and interactive artworks becoming more prevalent. In contemporary art produced for public spaces, there is a range of approaches. Some artists create large-scale sculptures or installations that engage with the architectural and social context of the site. Others utilize temporary interventions or participatory projects that invite public engagement and dialogue. The aim is often to activate public spaces, challenge conventional notions of art, and foster community interaction. Artists have used their works to support various social causes, addressing issues such as environmentalism, social justice, human rights, and identity politics. They raise awareness, spark dialogue, and advocate for change through their visually compelling and thought-provoking artworks. Artists like Ai Weiwei, Tanya Brugera, and JR are known for their socially conscious practices. Post-internet art refers to a movement that emerged in the early 21st century, characterized by artworks that engage with digital culture, internet aesthetics, and the networked nature of contemporary society. Artists working in this field often incorporate digital media, online platforms, and virtual experiences into their artworks, exploring the impact of technology on identity, communication, and the art-making process. Globalism has had a significant influence on contemporary art, as artists engage with themes of cultural hybridity, migration, and interconnectedness. Artists like Yinka Shoni Bear, Sharen Neshat, and Kai Guichang explore their complex cultural identities and address issues of globalization, transcultural exchange, and the impact of global politics and economics on local communities. Contemporary art reflects the diverse and interconnected world we live in, fostering dialogue and understanding across different cultures and perspectives.